here, everybody. Here we are, Robert the Sudoku guy. Well, look at this page. You might say, oh, wow, well, what's all that about? Well, it's to do with strong links and weak links. Now, I'm going to give you a definition of a strong link and a weak link. These lines that we're going to draw on here are used to join up with each other to make a chain. And you have to do it in a special order, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But let's look at what they are. Let's give you a definition. Firstly, a strong link. Only two little numbers in a row, a column, or block. A weak link. Three or more little numbers in a row, column, or block. Now these can be joined to form a chain. Using the C technique, we can remove small numbers. Now you know, as you know, quite often you have all kinds of little numbers when you get to advanced levels and you find yourself with all kinds of possible numbers in the cells. There's lots of little tricks and techniques to get rid of those. And this is, this is one of them. You'll see in a minute. Let's look at this to see where there's a strong link. Well, the definition of a strong link was that only two numbers, in this case two fives, in that whole row, so we call that a strong link. In this case, we've got one, two, three, four, five. There's more, there's three or more fives in that row, and we can call that a weak link, but here's the interesting part of a weak link. You can have these two joined together, or you can have this and this one joined together, or you can have these two joined together. You can make this into uh, these two here join together, or that one and this one join together. You've got all those combinations. So that is a weak link. Now let's look across here. Uh, look at this five here and a five here. They are the only fives in that column. So that makes them a strong link. Um, a strong link means that you've only got one is going to be true and one is going to be false. One is going to be accurate. We don't know which. It's not important right now. Okay? So that's going to be a strong link. Let's see if we can find a weak link now. Uh, yeah, right here. Here's a weak link. This block, we're now going to talk, instead of rows and columns, I'm going to talk about a block. In this block, we have one, two, three, four fives. We can join up with a... Um, line here, a link between this one and this one, and that is quite okay because there are more than three fives, three or more fives in there. Okay, so you can see a link starting to develop there, part of the chain. Let's look at this, these two, these three here, look, one, two, three, there's three of them. Although there's three of them, they uh, can be, um, they can be a weak link, okay? A weak link, so it goes from here to here to here. Three numbers, but two links. You could be there to there or there to there. Take your pick, or there to there. We've got all those combinations. Let's look at uh, another one. Here's one over here. This is, you may have seen this, is can you see a strong link here? Here's a strong link. Over on this column, this is a strong link. There's only two fives in that whole column. So that is a strong link, and because it's a strong link, we can uh, assume that one of these is going to be correct, and one of these will be correct, but we don't know which. That's coming down the road. Here's a, here's a weak link. I see this weak link here. See, this is a weak link here. There's more than, there's three or more between those fives. Okay, there's so three or more fives. Oh, here's a strong link. Did you see that? You probably did. This is a strong link, and a strong link would go this way. Okay, so we've got all kinds of combinations. Uh, this here, this is interesting. If I go from this five down to here, and to here, and to here, that is a weak link because there is one, two, three, four. Five fives, and you could use that five, that five, or you could use this five, this five, this five, that five, to take your pick. 
Isn't that amazing? So that's just some of the things. There's a few, you may be able to see some more examples there, but the main thing is that you understand, if you understand a strong link of a chain and a weak link of a chain, then we can join these up to make a chain and eliminate numbers. Don't go away. The next part is coming right up. One end of the link will always be true. Well, that is correct. And the other end false. Incorrect. Strong and weak links can join to make a chain with open ends. The number of links can be an odd number from three up. That is, could be three links, five links, seven links, and nine links. Let's have a look to see how this fits the rules. First of all, we start here at the end point. I call it an end point because we could start here or we could start there. From here to here, four to four, there's only two fours in that row, so we can say that that's a strong link. From here down to here is a weak link because there's one, two, three fours. From here back to this four is a strong link because there's only a four here and a four here in this column. So that's the end point. So that's it in a nutshell. You always alternate the strong and weak links and you always start with a strong and finish with a strong link. They are the rules. Now, just please understand that we don't know whether this is going to be a true or four or that's going to be a true four, a real four, down the road, or this is going to be a true four or that true four down the road. That's not important, but what is important is this. See this four here? This four can see that four and it, and the, in that row, and this four can see this four in this column. This can see that four, this can see that four, and when you have this four being, can see that one and see that one, that four can be eliminated, gone, kaput, goodbye. So that's just one little number you can get rid of, but there are other ways of getting rid of even more numbers. Well, here we come to the last one, and this is the real puzzle. I have to thank, thank um, <coughs> what's his name, uh, Jason Richard Reinhardt for this. Uh, but you know what? When I was putting it up on the board, I suddenly noticed that you could probably solve this without having to know what I'm going to show you. However, there's many ways you can go to solve a puzzle. Sometimes just one number will help you finish the puzzle. So, let's see what we've got here. Um, I'm going to use the number five. And if I look at this row here, there's only two fives. So we can start with the row. We start with a, a, a strong link. There's a strong link there. Now we have to have a weak link. Well, this block here has one, two, three fives. So we can put a weak link from there to there, and then we can come down, and then that, now we can come down here for a strong link, because that's the only five, and that's the only five in that strong link. Once we've got that, we've now got the end point and an end point, and we look across here to this cell, and guess what? This cell has got a five in it. If that becomes a five, that cannot be a five. If that becomes a 5, that still cannot be a 5. It doesn't matter which way it goes, whether that's a 5 or that's a 5, that 5 has to go because of, of the rule. Now, interestingly enough, um, let me just demonstrate that. If this was true, false, true, false, that means that that 5 means that you can't have a 5 there. Now, let's go the, this way. If this was <coughs> if this was false, that would be a five, that would be true, that would be false, and that would be true. If that was true, a real five, that means it still can't be a five. It doesn't matter whether that becomes a five or that becomes a five using the links, that five can be removed. And that's it for today. I hope you have fun looking for these links. Let me tell you something. Don't despair. It took me quite a long time to learn how to spot these.
but when you do spot them or get rid of one number or two, then it could be the end of the puzzle. You never know.